you clicked on this video because you want to learn how to manifest anything that you wish and that is true for your soul in this lifetime. You have used every single technique out there, every single method, every single application, every single form, every single <laughs> whatever and nothing worked and now you clicked on this video. I was exactly in your position, nothing worked. I, I was very upset that nothing worked in my life and I was having a very hard time. So that was a, a time that I even stopped believing that God exists till I was proven wrong by God itself. And so I'm going to let you know everything and what I have manifested so far by using this technique and uh, watch till the end because this video is going to be promise. It's going to promise, okay? So stay tuned. If you like content like this, subscribe and hit the like button because I just came out of the house and come to nature and take out everything I have with me to explain you everything that you need to manifest your life for real, okay? So stay tuned. So, I learned this technique to be able to manifest anything that you want in this life, but don't take it too specifically. For example, you're not going to be able to manifest, for example, to start to fly right away. It might happen. You should never limit yourself. Everything is possible, but try to understand that there's a a training so the same way you can manage to for example lift up something really really heavy but then the next day you won't be able because there's a a step by step there's a evolution that needs to occur through time and space that needs to happen in order to achieve that kind of state so I'm going to share with you this technique which I learned, which is a mudra and for many people they don't take it too serious, this. So, this mudra is called Kubera Mudra and I was able to manifest the car, uh, the car I only got after more important things that means it started to happen what's most important to me and manifested to me so i'm now married to my twin flame we have a baby together his name is avatar so one of the things that you have to understand is that once you put everything into one belief for example you have to understand that there's more than one type of energy, physical energy or physical dimension, which is all energy, the mental dimension and the spiritual dimension. And everything is occurring in this present moment right now. So a mudra, what it, what it does is that by forming some kind of mudra, which is a gesture, it makes the entire body, mind and soul act in one single purpose without 
having to think or speak or chant or almost do, you will just sit in a single position like that. So by connecting the two first fingers and uh, this one, so I think it's, I don't know, first, second and this one. The three first fingers you connect like this and it's just one hand and you can do this multiple times during the day, night, there's no real time to do this, you can do any time you want and um, you should do it at least for 15 minutes. Now it takes like five minutes to activate the entire human uh, body structure to connect fully to the specific purpose. And then you just have to be mindful of your breathing. So you're going to close your eyes and then observe your breathing. When you do this, it's called Kubera Mudra. This allows you to manifest anything from treasure, from abundance. It's directly connected to unlimited abundance or eternal abundance. So everything that relates to abundance, you will be able to manifest. Now, I have just practiced this a few times before and I was able to manifest my twin flame, which now we are married. Uh, we have a baby now, it's called Avatar. Uh, independent life, abundance, financial freedom. We are renting our own house, but very soon we might be able to start to have more. But this is because I just practice a little bit. Now imagine if I would be practicing this every day. Because time is, we, we, we think that we have other important things to do. While we could be doing this a few minutes every day and we would be able to manifest anything that we really want in our life. Um, now, don't try to manifest things like that are meaningless or try to fly or try to uh, jump higher. I don't know, things like this. Uh, try to think that you are meant to fulfill your purpose in this life. So whatever it goes through your purpose, you will be able to manifest any, everything that relates to that. Because if you try to manifest things that are out of your purpose, you will be going against the current of the stream, of the river stream, for example. It's a way for you to, to understand. So the stream is going in a specific way and you want to swim against. So you won't go anywhere. So once you find your purpose, you will flow with the universe, with the stream. And anything that is together with that stream, you will be manifesting everything in abundance. So I was able to manifest abundance of love, abundance of respect, abundance of peace, abundance of food, abundance of happiness, abundance of fulfillment, wisdom, knowledge, experience, all of that through practicing this and way more. Because I'm not a person that's just going to sit in the couch and do that forever and do anything. No, you have to apply the rule of knowing that the universe and everything is always the physical, the mental and the spiritual. Earth, universe and God, Holy Trinity, everything is three. And then comes the duality, which is the sun and the moon. But even the sun and the moon also has the North Star Pole, North Pole Star, which is the third, so or the first. Everything rotates around. So once you understand this, you will be able to understand that everything is possible to manifest, yes, unconditionally, but there will always be some kind of limits that we will have to overcome. And these limits are time, space, and these are the rules, the laws, of the universe applied to this perception that we are in and in this lifetime. But if you reach enlightenment, for example, you will be able to overcome this and then anything that you would be manifesting would be 
beyond time and space. So that's something to consider. So by practicing this, and if you want to intensify, because they always say single-handed, not they always say for everyone, for every mudra, but in this mudra, and a lot of other uh, mudras are single-handed. So if you do single-handed, yes, it's cool. But if you want to intensify it, do two hands, two hands like this. So you can have your eyes open, but it's better to close them because if you have your eyes open, you will be you will be thinking in something else. So you want to be mindfulness in this moment. So the more mindfulness you are and aware of your breathing, it will connect you to the present moment of now. And the present moment of now is that you want to manifest anything you want from the deepest, the deepest of your soul. So by doing that and be mindfulness of your breathing with your eyes closed in a relaxed environment, in this state, and practice at least 15 minutes minimum and repeat two or three times per day, night, whatever, and continuously and believe 100% in this, you will be able to manifest anything you want, just like I do. So I was able to manifest a car and everything. And of course, there's more things to manifest if I continue to practice. So I should be practicing and you too and everyone, because this is the metaphysical power, energy, techniques that even the highly evolved beings use. So this is the entrance to metaphysical power or metaphysical perception. This is the metaphysical manifestation, which is manifestation itself already means something beyond the physical. So if you want to be able to manifest things without the laws of this awareness of this earth, like time, space, gravity and all of this, you have to connect and understand the metaphysical because the metaphysical, like the name says, goes beyond the physical. And this is very powerful because you don't need com communication, you don't need to chant, you don't need to think, you don't need anything. Just be aware of your breathing and do the mudra and everything else will work as a flow by itself. And this is very, very powerful. So let's go. The clouds are being, are coming to cover the sun and it's going to change the weather completely. So thank you very much for watching. This is all you have to do. Practice, continues to do this more and more. Don't give up and you will see the present moment of manifestation of the now that you will be able to provide and manifest in your life right now. My name is Ivo Arthur, this is God Man. Stay peaceful, stay connected and celebrate the present moment of now. Peace.